let us discuss about set squares set squares means these are set of two right angle triangles okay and here this is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees it is called right angle okay and this shape is triangle okay set of two right angle triangles is called set squares and here the set of the other two angles is 45 45 in this triangle okay we can call it as 45 45 degrees angle set square and here this uh, right angle triangle this angle is 60 this angle is 30 this is 90 we can call this set square 30 degrees 60 degrees set square okay we can mark the angles like 30 degrees 60 degrees 45 degrees 75 degrees 90 degrees by using this and above 90 also we can mark by using this set. this uh, set squares has angles as i told 45 degrees 45 degrees and this has some 30 degrees 60 degrees and these two angles are acute angles means less than 90 and here also 30 degrees 60 degrees these two angles are also acute angles acute angles means those angles are less than 90 degrees okay let's take some examples and how to mark the angles by using single set square and by using combination of these two i am marking 30 degrees so directly i am taking this one okay so here as i told this is 60 degrees okay this angle this angle is 30 okay first do one horizontal line with this also you can do horizontal line okay at this point mark 30 degrees okay what i am doing is i am taking this here at this point okay as i told this is 30 degrees okay i am keeping this on this inclined surface okay and here shift this scale at this point okay at this point by tilting this and remove this and like this this angle is showing 30 degrees okay. take this angle whether it is 30 degrees or not just keep this okay so it is at the 30 degrees okay next let us take 45 degrees we will mark 45 degrees now just do one line horizontal line let us assume we have to mark at some b point 45 degrees by using set squares okay as we know this set square has angles this is 90 this is 45 this is 45 okay so what i'm doing is i'm keeping this near b and uh, this line is coincided with this side okay and then take the scale keep here on this slope okay just adjust the scale so that it is passing through b okay and uh, this should coincide this side should coincide with this and uh, this side is coincide with this line okay now remove it join this is a 45 degrees line line is coinciding with 45 okay take the 60 degrees just do one line here by using the set square we have to mark the 60 degrees at some c point okay now here as i told this is a 60 degrees this is a 30 degrees what i am doing is i am keeping near c this line okay and keeping one scale okay this as i told this side should coincide with this line and uh, this slope line is should coincide with the scale and the scale should pass through c okay if it is not passing just uh, tilt this in this direction and uh, adjust the scale okay, like this draw the line here so you will get 60 degrees inclined line at c point we'll take this angle 60 degrees so this is going through 60 okay, this angle is 60 take the next angle 75 degrees so we can do 75 30 plus 45 okay so we'll get uh, 75 degrees just to do one line here horizontal line okay do here one line we start a point we have to mark 75 okay now here i will take 30 degrees which is a 30 degrees so this is 30 degrees okay and uh, this is 45 degrees okay we have to do combined day so i'm taking this is 30 degrees this side and then 45 degrees here this is 30 this is 45 okay i'm keeping here for uh, the line which is passing through a i'm keeping scale here okay which should coincide with this okay just first this scale should coincide with this side okay again i will adjust by sliding the entire arrangement like this and here I will adjust this line should coincide here okay so that it is this scale is going through a point so remove this just do the line it is making 75 degrees by using this protractors check whether it is 75 or not 
CT angle is between 70 and 80, 75. Okay. Next angle is 105 degrees. So how can we write 105? Um, we can take 60 plus 45. Whatever values of set square angles, we can add those two angles. Just do one horizontal line here. Okay. Take at any point C point I am taking here. I had to mark 105 degrees. Okay. So what is the 60 degrees? This is 60 degrees. Okay. And uh, this angle is 45. So I will keep like this. Let's keep one of the set square which is coincide. This scale should coincide with this. And here one. Okay. Here take the scale. Okay. Now move this arrangement here at C point. Now remove it. So move this arrangement at C. You have to remember this line should passing through this corner. Remove it at C do the line. This is 105. Check whether it is 105 or not. So this is 105 here. Okay. So this is 105 here between 100 to 110. Okay. Let's take seventh one, 120 degrees. 120 means 90 for 90 how much we need to mark 30 degrees okay so just do one line here horizontal line at a point we have to mark 120 degrees so this is 90 this is 30 okay how to do here like this okay. just move this near to a okay. and keep one scale here which is coincide with this side and just move this arrangement so that the scale should pass through here. Remove it. Do the line. This angle is 120. Check whether it is 120 or not. See this angle is 120. Squares, we can mark all the angles. Okay. So without protractor also, we can mark uh, angles by using the set squares.